Thanks for joining me. In this tutorial movie, I'm going to show you how to download the Zoom Meetings app for running online conferences and meetings. I've already launched my browser. This happens to be Google Chrome, but it doesn't matter which browser you use. Start by clicking into the address bar, running along the top edge of the browser window. Type in zoom.us, then press the return or enter key to go to the website. For speed, I'm going to click Agree and Proceed with default cookie settings. If I wanted to make specific choices about which cookies to accept, I'd click the View Cookies button. I'll click Agree and Proceed. Then I'll click Close to the confirmation message. That then takes me to the Zoom Home page. In this tutorial, I'm going to sign up for a free Zoom account. Click on Plans and Pricing if you want to investigate paying for a Pro account and getting some additional functionality. I'm simply going to click the Sign Up It's Free button in the top right hand corner of the window. And this takes me to the Sign Up Free screen where it asks for your work email address, you can put in your own personal email address. It doesn't have to be a work email. Before I click the Sign Up button, notice that I'm agreeing to the Zoom privacy policy and terms of service. I could click these links and read them if I wanted to. For the purpose of this tutorial movie, I'll just click the Sign Up button. In the next panel, I'll just click Confirm. I'm going to accept Zoom's offer to send me some useful information and additional resources to the email address I've given them. You should always read messages like this very carefully and make your own decisions as to what you accept or not accept. I'll click Confirm. Zoom now sends an email to the email address I've signed up with in order to verify it and so that I can activate my Zoom account. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a new tab in my browser and go to my email account. When I log in, you'll see at the top of my email inbox, the email from Zoom. There it is. Please activate your Zoom account. I'll open the email and click Activate Account to verify my email address. That takes me to the Welcome to Zoom screen in my browser. I'll enter my first name, last name, and I'll create a password following the guidelines below. Then I'll confirm my password by entering it again. Again, I get the confirmation line that I'm agreeing to the Zoom privacy policy and terms of service. Then I'll click the Continue button. In this window, the Save Password panel. I never like to save my password, so I'll click Never. And now I'm at the Invite Your Colleagues screen. But I'm Billy No Friends at this moment in time. I don't have anyone just right now that I want to speak to in a Zoom meeting. So I'll click the Skip This Step button. The next screen is Start Your Test Meeting. Well, I didn't invite anyone to a meeting on the previous step, but I would like to test out a meeting room environment just to get a feel for what Zoom meetings are all about before I actually get into a live meeting. To do that, I'll click the Start Meeting Now button. And this is the really key part of this process. By clicking the Start Meeting Now button, Zoom starts to download the Zoom Meeting app to my computer.
Now in the bottom left hand corner of my Google Chrome browser window with a big orange pointer panel pointing to it, I'll click on the zoom download button to install the app. You should see a progress bar indicating that the meeting is about to begin. I'll accept the Windows 10 security prompt to allow the Zoom app to make changes to my device. We're almost there. Again, we're agreeing to the terms of service and privacy policy. I'll click the I agree button. Next, I'm going to click Join with Computer Audio. And then I get this placeholder screen, which is indicating at the top that I'm talking. But there's one further thing I need to do. I need to move my cursor to the bottom of the Zoom window to reveal a pop-up control bar. You can see on the left-hand side of the control bar that my video or webcam is not switched on. I'll click that button to start my video. And, and here we are. I've joined Zoom. I'm ready to start a meeting. Down at the bottom of my Zoom window, I've got a whole Zoom. series of controls. I'm ready to start a meeting. Down in the bottom corner, down in the bottom, I've got a whole series of controls. I'll take you through these at some later stage. That's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for joining me.